Hey everybody, Ted from Safe Drive Solutions. If your vehicle came equipped with wireless Android Auto and you have a new dash camera that has Wi-Fi capabilities, you're most likely running into a lot of challenges trying to connect your phone to it. Either you can't connect at all or the vehicle is trying to connect via Android Auto constantly. As you can see here, and my Volkswagen Tiguan, one, I am connected wirelessly, nothing is plugged in. I'm going to attempt to connect to my beautiful unit here that has Wi-Fi only. This will apply to a lot of units out there. Just for example, Thinkware, older Thinkware, Blackview, um, amongst other brands, as long as it has Wi-Fi only. So I'll enable the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi enabled. We're gonna swipe down, go to the Wi-Fi settings. As you can see, it's connected to my Volkswagen Tig one right now. We do see the 5G VOFO available. We're going to click that. And we'll just pay attention to a Wi Fi connected. Wi Fi disconnected. Wi Fi connected. Wi Fi disconnected. There we go. So, as you can see here, attempting to connect to the camera. In this case, it did not successfully connect. Even though it said it connected, Android Auto takes over and the vehicle will want to connect back to your phone. Now, this only applies to units that have Wi-Fi only. What we want to do is you'll swipe down, turn off Bluetooth. We'll head back into the Wi-Fi settings, connect to the 5G VOFO again. Wi-Fi connected and the important part is as we look at the phone it stays connected the vehicle is no longer able to communicate with the phone to pair for Android Auto from here we'll open up the app the VFO app connect to camera as you can see we successfully connect live view works we can go into the file list and there we go. We do have recordings from earlier from today. So whatever camera you have, make sure that you do enable recording before you exit the app. Recording. One channel started. All right, we'll exit out of this VOFO app. And if we turn Bluetooth back on, You'll see that it reconnects to the vehicle. Wi-Fi disconnected. There we go. So, just a quick recap. If your dash camera has Wi-Fi only, to connect to it without running into any issues is to turn off Bluetooth. Only if your vehicle came equipped with wireless Android Auto. So what if your device has Bluetooth built in with Wi-Fi, such as the Thinkware U3000? We can't simply turn off Bluetooth anymore because, well, it needs Bluetooth to connect to that device. So we'll open up the Dashcam Link app on the phone. Connected to a smartphone. There we go. So we're connected to the Thinkware U3000. We'll do Live View switch to a Wi-Fi network. All right, you can see that it just simply hangs and it just simply will not connect. All right. See, now the vehicle is trying to connect back to the phone. The phone is trying to connect to the camera and it just hangs. So what we want to do from here is you want to go back to your main screen, swipe down on the top, go to settings, look for apps,
scroll down to Android Auto. And we want to temporarily disable it. So at the bottom left, it'll say disable. We're going to tap disable, disable app. From here, you'll notice that the vehicle will drop this connection. All right, so you can see it's not connected anymore. We can go back to the dash cam link app. We're still connected to the camera via Bluetooth. We'll do live view at this point, or actually we'll go to video file list. There we go. We'll load some more. So see here, dash cam is connected to a Wi-Fi network. And we'll just view a video footage from earlier in the day. There we go. So this is just the camera sitting on my chair here, just so I could test it. And there we go. That's a video from just driving earlier today. So once you connect to the camera and you've done everything that you needed to do, we can exit out of this app, disconnect the camera from disconnected the phone. From a smartphone. All right, this is the important part. Make sure that you turn Android Auto back on. So settings, scroll down to apps. Auto, and we want to enable it again. All right, and within a minute or so, depending on the vehicle, it will simply reconnect. Hopefully, that helps. If you have any questions, write them in the comment section below. Cheers.